Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today I'm gonna to play with the Delta Echo 19, the DE19 from Zygu. And I'm gonna use the G90 radio this time. The DE19 postdates the G90 and it postdates the XPA125B amplifier, but it is not that crappy CE19 interface where you gotta make up your own cables and have a weird six pin to eight pin conversion cable and all kinds of other nonsense. Also, the DE19 works great as a sound card for FT8 modes. Let's see if this old combination of radio and amplifier work great with this newfangled Delta Echo 19 thing. We've got the tower of power. We've got the dummy load, the power meter, the Zygu G90, and the XPA 125B amplifier. Let's do some power testing. We are on CW mode. We are on 160 meter band and we have everything connected up and we have it set to auto band sensing mode. So it has already figured out that it is on the 160 meter band. Since I'm using a dummy load, I don't need the tuner and I have the amplifier turned on. When I have the power setting set, I have it set to five watts on the G90. The manual says 2.5, but 2.5 is not a choice. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, da, 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 da. so, we're gonna to go to five because why not? The radio and the amplifier are going to be talking to each other through the DE19. And this device with all the right cables and everything is supposed to handle communicating back and forth between the amplifier and the radio to make some magic happen. Well, we're gonna see if any magic does happen. So we're at 160, we're at 160 CW mode. Let's key down and we get 87 watts out here and we get 94 watts out on the meter. That kind of power output is fairly normal. If you take your regular 100 watt radio and plug it directly into a power meter, you are probably gonna get more than 100 watts out on some bands and really close to 100 watts on others. And maybe occasionally on a band, you might get less than 100 watts out. And this is true for all radio manufacturers and all amplifier manufacturers all across the board. They're all just kind of hopeful that they're gonna hit 100 watts. And it's also like even motorcycle engines are the same way. Like a 650 cc motorcycle engine is probably 637.5 cc's, but 650 is an easier marketing term. It's just a number, getting close is all that really matters. Let's change our band from 160. We're gonna go up to 80 and it is automatically switched to 7580. Not that it matters, but I'm gonna take it out of preamp mode and we're gonna key down. 111, 110 out and 120 out up top, not bad with 4.5 drive. Let's go up to 60, so we switched over to 60. Not that it matters, but I'll turn the preamp off. 96 watts out, 4.5 in, 102 on the meter. Up to 40, 4.6 in. So you see how it's changed, 4.6, 4.7, and we're riding about 96, 102 on the meter. 30, we changed to 30, 4.6, 86, 88, 20. We changed to 20, 4.7, 4.8, 105, 109. We'll change to 17 meters, 4.9, 105. 106, and if you watch real close when I key down, this is gonna show almost 20 right at the beginning. That one said 23 that time. All right, let's go up. That tells me that the ALC circuit is working. We're at 15, 15, 4.9, 100, and 103, 102, 12 meters, 4.9, 108, 111, 10 meters. Let's see how it switches. It switches from 10 to six. 5.0. 87, 86 and a half, and then we've come full circle. We're looking at the back side now, and as with anything in ham radio, there is always a big mess of wires. So this is the DE19, the Delta Echo 19. It's a much cleaner interface, and you don't have to make up your own cable ends. You're gonna need the DE19. This is the L4001 cable from Zygu. It's looking like it's plugged into the CIV port, but it's actually, the CIV port's the high one, the PA port is the middle one and the accessory port is the low one. It's plugged into the PA port, PA for power amplifier. And then you need the accessory cable. This is an eight pin cable on the DE19 side and that one plugs into the accessory port on the G90 down below. And you're gonna get power from the radio and you're gonna get band data and you're gonna get PTT all sent through the accessory cable. And then from the PA cable out, the PA cable, the L4001, goes down into the accessory port on the amplifier. And that's how the amplifier is going to receive band data and it is going to receive the PTT, the push to talk signal from the radio up here. And then you wanna take your antenna connection from the G90, from the radio, and run it into the TRX, transmitter receiver port on the back. 
and then where your amplifier says antenna, you're gonna to wanna to run that all the way out of your shack to your antenna. And then power cables go where power cables go and you can connect your grounds together if you're one of those people that does grounding and you are good to go. These cables are keyed so that they only fit in one way. So if it's not going in, you might have it upside down. It actually kind of, in my mind, it goes upside down into the radio and it goes right side up into the amplifier. But on the amplifier, it's actually a little, a little crooked, a little crooked, a little canted, a little cockeyed off to the side. This DE19 interface you can also use to hook to your computer through the USB-C port on the side, and that will enable you to do digital modes like FT8 on your computer. I kind of like this little device compared to the CE19. Make sure when you are using the G90 with the XPA125B that you are not using the internal tuner in the G90. The XPA125B has its own internal tuner that works really well. So just make sure that the icon for tuning is off. It worked. I like it. Power out on all bands. Looks like the auto negotiation of ALC works. All of the protections that the amplifier offers are amazing. I have use this amplifier with a variety of different radios and there are videos on this channel of me doing a tech out to make sure that it all works before i get out in the field and do some field work and i have been pretty happy overall with this amplifier i've got probably three or four thousand qso's through this thing including a couple of kilos that i did for parks on the air so i can't complain about this thing there is a video right over here i think you might enjoy next if you're looking for a de19 a g90 or an xpa 125b amplifier the best place to get it is from radiodity because they have the best customer or support and there's a link in the description for $15 off any order at Radiodity over $60. There is a video right over here I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.